Uh, a drawing engineer is, uh, well there's two parts to the job. The first part is actually an offshore based job uh, known as a well site drawing engineer. Uh, that's what we do is uh, three years, two to three years in the well site where you uh, learn drilling operations first hand. Uh, you're essentially the second uh, company representative assistant to the drilling supervisor offshore. Once that's complete and we've finished our training and our, uh, got our competencies up, we then move into an office-based position where we're responsible for designing and drilling, uh, sorry, designing and writing the programmes for new wells. At the moment I'm working on a, an abandonment campaign, so the Brent field uh, in the Northern North Sea, quite a, a famous field uh, for Shell, is undergoing a, a complete end of, uh, end of life, so the whole field is currently being abandoned. So my job in that is to abandon the 150 plus well boards that we've got across four platforms. So I prepare uh, the programmes uh, which essentially tell the guys offshore what they need to do. Yeah, I went to university, I studied mechanical engineering. Uh, uh, during that time I did two uh, summer placements uh, in Aberdeen with other oil companies. In that time I realised I wanted to work for an operator. Uh, so when I uh, was in my final year of uni I completed my application to Shell and uh, joined about three or four months after I graduated from university. The people I work with really got on with my team. I have a, such a good laugh with, well, I had a great laugh offshore, and even coming in the office now, I've got a team that I, I, you know, I enjoy coming in and sitting next to and working with. And the job's different every day. It's, it's, I, I quite enjoy the uh, spontaneity, maybe, of, uh, of suddenly things change and we have to you know, rework what we're doing. When I was growing up, my dad was a, an engineer. Uh, so I used to help him out fixing the car and round the house and doing plumbing, electrics, all that kind of stuff maybe gave me a taste. So that's maybe what drove me towards doing engineering. But I think it was just, I've always had an interest in how stuff works is I think what drove me to my, to do mechanical engineering. I mean there's quite a lot of routes into uh, the industry. I think to work for an operator, a, a degree is almost a, a necessity these days uh, because of the amount of people that, that want to get in. So. You've got to you've got to make yourself stand out from the crowd.